हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फोर्स एक्सर्टेड ऑन स्टेशनरी फ्लैट प्लेट व्हेन द प्लेट इज हेल्ड इनक्लाइन टू द जेट नाउ हियर इन दिस डायग्राम लेट अ जेट ऑफ वाटर कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द नोजल स्ट्राइक्स एन इनक्लाइन फ्लैट प्लेट एज शोन हियर that is the plate which is shown here now let v will be equals to velocity of the jet in the direction of x theta will be equals to angle between the jet and plate which is shown here and a will be equals to area of cross section of the jet now the mass of water per second striking the flat plate is rho into a into v that is the mass of water per second striking the flat plate now if the flat plate is smooth and if it is assumed that there is no loss of energy due to impact of the jet then jet will move over the plate after striking with a velocity equals to initial velocity that is with a velocity v now let us find the force exerted by the jet on the plate in the direction normal to the plate that is fn which is in this direction now it will be equals to mass of jet striking per second multiplied by initial velocity of jet before striking in the direction of n minus final velocity of jet after striking in the direction of n that is v final now we can write this equation as fn equals to the mass of jet striking per second will be equals to rho into a into v and the initial velocity of jet before striking in the direction of n will be equals to v sin theta which is shown here and final velocity of jet after striking in the direction of n will be equals to 0 so after multiplying this we will have equation that is rho a v square sin theta that is the value of fn this force can be resolved into two component one in the direction of jet and other perpendicular to the direction of flow so fx equals to component of fn in the direction of flow so we can write this as fn into cos 90 degree minus theta so it will be equals to fn sin theta and we will put the value of fn here it will be equals to rho a v square into sin theta into sin theta so when we multiply this we will have rho a v square into sin square theta that is the value of fx that is component of fn in the direction of flow now component of fn perpendicular to flow will be equals to fy and it will be equals to fn sin 90 minus theta now if we put the value of fn here then fy will be equals to rho a v square sin theta into cos theta that is the component of fn perpendicular to flow that is all about the force exerted on stationary flat plate when the plate is held 
इनक्लाइन टू दी जेट थैंक यू वेरी मच स्टूडेंट्स